Imagine, you're an African American in the Deep South in 1862. A black slave to a white master. The Civil War is raging all around you. But on New Year's Day, 1863, with one stroke of his pen, President Abraham Lincoln changed the federal legal status for you and your four million brothers and sisters in chains from slave to free man and woman. You've been liberated in the Emancipation Proclamation. But you didn't hear about it because you lived 1,500 miles from Washington, D.C. and you just took a while to travel back then. And also, maybe there were some people who didn't want that news getting out. So you unwittingly remain enslaved for another two and a half years before, a few weeks following the formal end of the Civil War, Union General Gordon Granger shows up, delivering your proclamation and officially freeing you. Good reason to celebrate, right? Well, that's what we celebrate today because all that happened on this date, June 19th in 1865, beginning the holiday, Juneteenth, June 19th. As P.R. Lockhart put it, in many ways, Juneteenth represents how freedom and justice in the U.S. has always been delayed for black people. Progress has been made, but there is still, of course, a long way to go. Something to think about in a moose-bouche of knowledge before taking you to school here on HQ tonight, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host with the trivia overdose, Abraham Lincoln, Scott Rogowski, delivering good news from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Galveston, Texas, steamrolling chumps with all 630,000 plus of you, including Ezra, Sidecra Mercedes, Tom Bilecki, happy birthdays to Jenny Long, Wesley Wilson, and Nolan O'Reilly, and happy anniversary, Lisa and Casey. You guys know how to play, right? I asked 12 questions. If you answer them all correctly, you win our cash prize tonight. That is 5,000 Delino DeShields. 5,000 Delino DeShields Juniors. $5,000. You can buy 10 pairs of 24 karat gold plated aviators with that money. Did you see those? Yeah, so when you leave them in the back of a cab, you'll never forgive yourself. I stick to the free shades I get at bar mitzvahs. Yes, I still go to bar mitzvahs. You guys know what time it is? Showtime! You know what time it is? Showtime! It is time to get down to Quizness. Yes, do you have your extra lives? They're gonna help you. You can only use them once per game. You cannot use them on the final question. Invite your friends, get more extra lives. Come on, y'all, it's time to have fun. C come on, y'all, it's time to have fun. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get the show on the road at Cumero Numero Uno. Which of these usually has eight legs? Flamingo, spider, or human dad? Juneteenth, arachnophobia is a fear of things with eight legs. Also, a 1990 John Goodman movie that I didn't see because the movie poster scared me. What has eight legs? Spiders are singing in the salty breeze. Spiders are filling out tax returns. 664,671 of you are climbing up the water spout to Q. Two. In Ian Fleming's series of novels, what is the name of the agent assigned the number 007? James Bond, Ari Gold, or Cody Banks? Now, Ari Gold was a different kind of agent in a different kind of novel. What, you didn't read the Entourage books? Agent Cody Banks is a little newer to the game. But Ian Fleming's 1953 Casino Royale introduced the world to the iconic 007 Bond. James Bond is your answer at Q2, 651,904 are gonna get Q3 shaken, not stirred. Which of these pieces of clothing is named for its shape? T-shirt, khakis, or jeans? Now we could have made this a Q7 if I included uh, a shirt as one of the op options there. The answer would be the same, however, because a shirt stands for athletic shirt, nothing to do with the shape, but are you familiar with T-shirts? You know how T-shirts, uh, are in the shape of a capital T? Yeah, no mysteries here. 634,973 are keeping your shirts on, teed up for Q4. In what sport is the ball misleadingly nicknamed a pigskin? Football, basketball, or baseball? Historians will tell you that this ball used to be made of actual pigskin. That was back in the year 1900 and never. Psych! It was never actually made from pigskin. Back in the day, footballs were sometimes made out of pig bladders, but not pig skin. 605,216 got it right. I don't know why pig skin came to be. Write a letter to Goodell. Have him explain it to you. 
We are marching downfield to Q5 right now. Which of these is featured in South Korea's national dish? Beef, vegetables, or chicken? It's sour. It's spicy. It's kimchi. Our first kimchi question here on HQ. We're making history tonight, people. If you want to make kimchi at home, round up some salted and fermented vegetables. Usually Napa cabbage, white radish, and you get your kimchi. Ooh, we lost a lot of you here. A brutal Q5, but 260,751 of you know it. And you're getting Q6, the halfway point. In the sport of powerlifting, what type of weight is used in a bench press, barbell, kettlebell, or dumbbell? Oh, I love kimchi. Kimchi pancake. Seafood pancake. Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift, bro? How many plates you putting up? I can do the bar. I'm pretty good with the bar. No need to add any weight to either side. I'm doing just fine with that barbell all day, every day. That's 45 pounds. That's nothing to sneeze at. 233,713 of you. You don't need a spot tonight. You are powering through to Q7. Which of these Bruce Springsteen songs can best be classified as a protest song? Born in the USA, dancing in the dark or hungry heart? Now, probably the most misunderstood political song in campaign history. No matter how many hawkish politicians blared this song at their rallies, it doesn't stop it from actually being a blistering criticism of the Vietnam War. The lyrics include, they put a rifle in my hand, sent me off to a foreign land to go and kill the yellow man. But you probably only know the chorus. Born in the USA, I was born. 179,000 or 381 of you are born again. Tonight, you knew this one. Did you know that, that Springsteen asked Reagan to stop playing that song in 84? Yeah, he's had to do that a few times. Q8, who founded the American Red Cross? Clara Barton, Juliet Gordon Lowe, Florence Nightingale. All these fine women were contemporary figures, legends in their own right, right? Julia Leading for 20 years, 103, 103,951 knew this one. They're all patched up, getting Q9. Which of these activities was not named for a real person? Zumba, Pilates, or Burpee? Not named after a real person. True story, kids. Burpees were invented by a man named Royal Burpee. Not sure which part. A true story by a guy named Joe Pilates. Zumba was developed not by Frank Zumba, but by Beto Perez. 35,528. Got that one right. We did lose 70,000 of you there. Ouchie, wowie. But we're going to be dance exercising over to Q10 right now. The art technique known as pointillism directly launched what other art movement? Expressionism, Cubism, or Neo Impressionism? Pointillism, of course, involves painting many small colored dots that your eyes and brain blend together to create an image, especially as you move farther away from the artwork. And with this technique, artists George Surratt and Paul Signac helped begin the Neo-Impressionism movement. Neo, you're the one. 13,601 earning points on this one making a good impression on me, the quiz master. You're getting Q11. What classic noir movie prominently features the fictional gossip magazine, Hush Hush, Sunset Boulevard, Chinatown, or LA Confidential? This film is only a couple decades old, but deservedly considered a classic. The title is said to be a reference to a real 1950s tabloid. But in the film, the magazine in question is called Hush Hush. You may remember Danny DeVito talking about it in L.A. Confidential. I remember Kim Basinger. That's, that's what I remember. 8,889 got this right at Q11. The rest of you, go back to Jersey, Sonny. 
This is the City Angels, and you haven't gotten any wings. 8,889 are getting Q12. The final question of the night. This is it at all. Boils down to this for the 8,889 of you left. $5,000 remaining on the table. Yours for the taking. It's right there. It's sitting there. You want it? Answer me the final question, Q12. The U.S. holiday known as Juneteenth celebrates news that was delivered where in 1865? Texas, Washington, D.C., or Virginia? Oh, were you paying attention at the beginning of the show? in Washington, D.C., and it didn't make its way to Galveston, Texas until June 19th, 1865. Texas is the answer, and 5,132 are our winners tonight, baby! Two new inductees into the HQ winning Hall of Fame. HQ winners, all of you, you did it. Maybe on your first tryout, maybe on your 500th try. Whatever it is, you made a little pocket change tonight. 97 or 98 cents. Don't let that go to your head, guys. Don't spend it all in one place. Let me kiss something is winning some money. Pink H Cutie, a pink H Cutie. Litz got 98 cents. Delore 52, Pikachu making some change tonight. Change, you can believe in. You did it, folks. Thanks for playing. Want to play again? You can tomorrow, twice tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern. Every night of the week, we are live at 9 p.m. Weekdays, 3 p.m. Do you want those extra lives to help you win next time? Well, then invite your friends. Also, follow HQ on Twitter. We do some extra live giveaways there. Follow me on Twitter, Scott Rogowski, right there, and Instagram, all that stuff. I'm your host, Scott, signing off. I had a wonderful evening with you. I will see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, it cannot be more simple, Luann. You want me to show this to the cat and have the cat tell you what it is? Because the cat's going to get it. It's dignity. God, don't you even know dignity when you see it? Good night.